baby. Come on. Come on, mommy. Come on. Guess who's going to the Gymshark Lift Miami? Testicles one, two. Testicles one, two. Look what came in the mail. These dogs look crazy. Like, they just like, <laughs> dear coach, I hate your stinking guts. Auntie Flo has arrived. As women, our bodies already undergo so much. And when it's that time of the month, it's best we take it easy and give ourselves some grace. We tend to get bloated, gain a few pounds, back pains, breast pain, you name it. We're always nitpicking our bodies when we should be loving on it and appreciating all the things that it does. This time around, I catered to listening to my body, took a nice lengthy hot shower to ease the pain, made me a cup of warm peppermint and ginger tea to warm up my soul. And instead of being strong and going to the gym, I decided to hop back in bed and rest a little while longer. We'll try this little gym thing again tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. Trust me, I'm not that enthusiastic, but good morning. Happy Tuesday. You already know what Tuesdays are. Don't start, Coda. Tuesdays, our check-ins. I weighed myself this morning. I took my pictures this morning. And guess what? Yesterday I started my cycle and girl, I do not, I repeat, I do not feel the best. Granted, I don't feel bad. <clears throat> I don't feel terrible. <clears throat> Yesterday started off, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus. Yesterday started off my new workout week, but I did not work out because I had cramps and like lower back pain. And you no, know, you already know how I be training in the gym and stuff like that. I wasn't gonna do that. Even today, I'm still gonna take a light. I don't even plan on wearing no cute shit to the gym today because I just want to go do what I gotta do and get the hell on. That's how I feel. Oh, but if you guys notice. Breakfast is different today. I have some protein cereal, so I have some special K, and I just added some milk with protein powder, sugar in the shaker bottle, and put it in here. Nobody got time for all that. I love my overnight oats, but today I wanted something different. I was craving cereal, and one thing about me, I'm gonna satisfy my cravings, but still make sure it fits within my macros. Speaking of macros, I gotta put it in there. I'll do it later. But let me update y'all on how my check-in went. Y'all know last week, the whole situation, I weighed in at 158.7. This morning, I weighed in at 162.5. So I gained like three to four pounds. But my pictures, they look amazing. But let me show you guys. So I had texted him yesterday asking him like if I should take my pictures posed or just regular. He told me posed, so that's what I did. And they look really, really good. I'm impressed. Like you can still see like definition and lines coming in. And I feel like on my back pose, you can see like a little bit of the glute uh, teardrop trying to come in on my on my right side like you can see it a little bit some line like some definition wanting to pop out in the back of my legs and you know like that's what i've been trying to work on my hamstrings and my glute tie-ins so that's really good even though i feel bloated i don't feel bad and that's a good thing that's something i'm happy about and we're just gonna keep this ball rolling. So I'm gonna send those over to him, answer his questions and stuff like that. And speaking of glutes and hamstring, that's what I have today, some hamstring work. So I'm trying to hurry up and go so that I can be back home by 12. Cause you already know the, the, the deal. Your girl works today. Do I wanna work? No, but do I need some money? Yes. Let's go to the gym. I'm outside in a damn G. Right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls, 
that I grew beside. All the niggas round me, they die, they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. TT, two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas round me, they die, they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. Good morning, y'all. So. Yesterday, I told y'all I had my check-in or whatever. And I received my, res like, the response from my coach later on in the day. And y'all, I just want to let y'all know, like, I felt a little bit, um, bothered. I'm going to just say this. Because as a woman, you normally gain 3 to 10 pounds when you're on your cycle, right? His response was very short. It kind of seemed like he made an assumption that I was overeating. And it's like, sir, no, I am on my cycle. Like I literally said in the little questions that I feel bloated. Like bloating is a sign of you, meaning like you're gonna be holding on to stuff, you're holding on to water. As a woman, you are bleeding out of your body. Your body is going through its natural changes. So it kind of bothered me a little bit. And I was telling him like, oh my body starts to regulate after like on day three or four around there like i should be good or whatnot because i was telling him like i was even sticking to my eating that i don't know if me skipping the gym one day would affect it which it will not skipping the gym one day will not affect it i'm just listening to my body and resting but it just kind of triggered me just a little bit so this morning I hopped on the scale again and I was 159.5. I even took a picture because I'm about to text him and address like how I felt that on my check-in, I felt like my check-in pictures were phenomenal. I felt like they were great. Even despite if I was bloated or the number on the scale went up, I felt like my body looked amazing. And you would think me as a woman, I would feel like, dang, I look terrible or whatever. No, I didn't start feeling bothered until his response. I'm gonna send him a text and see what his response is. I'm not retaking no no damn pictures or whatever. All I did was reweigh myself on the scale. And that just goes to show I was 162.5 yesterday morning and this morning I'm 159.5. That just goes to show like the the women's body like it takes time. The first two days of a woman's cycle is mostly when they feel the heaviest. My cycle lasts for like five to six days, but after the first two days, I am absolutely normal. I don't feel my cycle. I don't have any cramps. Like, it's very light. I just had to vent really quick because, sire, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? Anyways, we're getting ready to go to the gym today even my energy is a little bit more up i feel a little bit more feisty because i want to him but it's okay anyway <laughs> we're going to the gym today we got upper body got shoulders i'm gonna record a instagram reel in short of me doing that just my shoulder work but we got like back shoulders and all of that all in one day you feel me get right with the get right <sighs> so we're gonna have our usual let's go get breakfast and take our vitamins love yours no such thing no such thing as a life that's better than yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours love yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours no such thing Fast, let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Don't be sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Alright, I ate my breakfast, took my vitamins. Ooh, my nose. It's like really, really cold in here. Um I'm about to send my my coach. Uh, my text really quick because yeah I was just on the phone with Tasha and stuff we were talking about like a whole bunch of stuff you know that's my soulmate for life but um yeah I just I just gotta get some stuff off my chest y'all I, I really do 
But yeah, remember the DJI mic that I was talking about? Yeah, it's getting delivered today. Oh, I almost threw up all my food. I don't like when I be feeling like that. I'm gonna be receiving it between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. today. So it's gonna be up and it's stuck and it's stuck and it's stuck. <laughs> so yeah. Um, super excited for that. And also, I don't know if I'm gonna receive the package this week, but, but I have something kind of exciting to share. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can you guess what it is? No, maybe, yes, no, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Cause I'm gonna tell you anyway, just not today, but I was like, oh, it's kind of funny. Like you want to work with me now. Oh, I'm so extra. Anyways, let me take my coat so that we can go because it's 12.52 and I'm ready to get this day started over with. Like, I just want to sit back, relax, kick my feet up. Okay, that's that's really what I want to do today. Cause it's like gloomy outside. I really don't like gloomy days that much. I only like gloomy days on days when I have to go to work and I want to call out. Those are the only days when I like gloomy days. It's like, oh, this weather is perfect for me to call out. But when I got stuff to do, I don't like gloomy days. I don't like no rain, no nothing. Like I want sunshine and butterflies and rainbows and care bears jumping in the clouds. Like that's what I want, okay? Not, not none of this. Dear coach, I hate your stinking guts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Little Rascals? No, 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 is it Little Rascals? There's a part in Little Rascals where it's like, Dear Darla, I hate your stinking guts. You are the scum between my toes. Dear Darla, I hate your stinking guts. <gasps> you make me vomit. <laughs> You're scum between my toes. Love, alfalfa. Okay. Yes, that's it. That is it. But no, I'm not going to say that. That's mean. I just want to address how I feel. You know, it's always good to tell people how you feel so that they understand. Don't just sweep your feelings under the rug. That's what we're not going to do. All right, y'all. So I'm going to share everything that I wrote. I was like, hey, I just wanted to express how I felt about yesterday because it's still bothering me. I had originally made clear to you that on Monday I had got my cycle and normally the first two days of a woman's body is the heaviest and we tend to hold on to water weight and that can be from that can be around that can be around three to ten pounds aside from me addressing what was going on with my body before you made your response you stated i may have over eight and that just made me feel like you think i'm getting off track or not staying disciplined to the plan and also although the number may have increased on the scale i felt like my check-in was very well despite despite me being bloated but no actual feedback was given i know my body so i wasn't tripping hold on Yes, that's how I'm talking to my coach. I know my body, so I wasn't tripping about the number. I was just disappointed in your response. But anyway, like I stated, day three and four is when my body starts getting back to normal. So this morning I went ahead and hopped on again just to show you that it's just my cycle and not me getting off track. And then you press send on that I'm real serious. Like, I don't want nobody to think that I'm slacking off. Like, I'm paying my hard-earned money to a coach to help me get on stage. Like, this is not for play. Why, why would I be wasting my time? Why would I be wasting your time? I know that people make mistakes and stuff like that. And me, I'm just starting and it's early and stuff like that. But... I'm trying to stay as disciplined as possible, try to make little to no mistakes at all so that I don't, when I do get later on down the line into that prep, I'm not so bound to making mistakes. You know, I'm already building up that strong mentality. But I just, 
I just don't like that he thought that of me. You know, obviously he don't he don't know me like that, but still, it's it's not good to make assumptions. And I don't know if it's because I'm on my cycle and it makes me feel some type of way, but I think my the way I feel is valid. So I'm not going to change how I feel about the situation. I feel like it was good for me to address it. I don't feel like I said it in a very bad way, but I want you to feel um, my, my raft just a little bit because you're tripping. I need you to be my coach and provide feedback as it needs to be, not make assumptions. OMG, look what came in the mail. Y'all know I've been waiting on this package. I told y'all last week what this package was. I told y'all last week what this package was. Ooh, I'm so excited. I just love packages because every time I get packages, it feels like Christmas. Ah! We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Let's test it out. I love buying myself gifts because it's like, girl, you deserve it. Oh, my man's gonna love this if it has a sticker in it because he loves to collect stickers, y'all. Like, I wish his bottle was here so y'all could see his stickers. It is, it's a sticker, it's a sticker. Oh, my camera's about to die. BRB. So yeah, this, this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. Testicles one, two, testicles one, two. How do I sound? <laughs> oh my God, we are lit. We are in this, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, oh. And it's like, I can use this to record phone content because it has like this little piece to it that's for your iPhone. Oh baby. It is lit. Even like if you got like the seaport version, y'all, they done hooked you up. And like, look, look at all these stickers my man gonna have. Look at all these stickers. He, he loves stickers. He's gonna love these. Oh my God. DJ, DJI. Thank y'all. Even though I bought this with my own money, but thank y'all. Video's about to be lit. Mic touch's about to be lit. And it has like this magnetic. If I could take, like, it's really strong, y'all. It's really strong. Look at that. It just sits there. Period. <laughs> so excited. I can't wait to do a mic up video for y'all because when I be in the gym, I be like whispering like this and then I don't be wanting people to hear me so they don't think I'm weird. But now I got a mic and I can talk like this and you guys can hear me and it's gonna be real lit because then you won't be able to hear all that noise in the back. <laughs> I'm such a clown. I don't have to train my client today because she's in urgent care. She might have strep throat. Oh my Lord. Good thing she went to urgent care and didn't come to me because one thing about me, I hate being sick. I ain't trying to be sick. I got things to do. And my coach got back to me, y'all. Basically, he was giving me the runaround. He wasn't making any sense. He basically repeated everything I said, which was like, oh, woman's body, I know they gained weight. Da, 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 da. Save the drama for your mama. What's up, y'all? I know I had to pull out my mic real quick. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Anyways, I was gonna bring out with me to go out today, but my camera was dead, so I had to leave it. But we went to Whole Foods today, and I wanted to show y'all my, I wanted to show y'all my little Whole Food finds because I am too excited. I found these organic corn tortillas. So like three of them is 110 calories, one gram of fat, two grams of protein, 22 grams of carbs. Cause that's what I was gonna make for dinner, but it's eight o'clock right now. So we just grabbed something. I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. And I got me a garlic teriyaki sauce, which I'm super excited for. These were my 
boyfriend, so it don't matter. But I got these Mom Pops in the flavor Mango, and it's only 15 calories per popsicle, and it's four grams carbs, zero fat, zero protein. So I'm excited for those. I don't think anything else in here is mine. Everything else is his. Then, Tasha be eating these. These are Japanese sweet potatoes. So I bought me four, so when I meal prep this week, well, tomorrow, I gotta wash all those meal prep bowls. I'm gonna have me that. And then I found me this water. It's like a sparkling water. It says summer strawberry. I'm gonna have this with my dinner, so I'm excited for that. The rest of the stuff is in the other bag that he's grabbing from the car. And then remember how I told y'all that I have to go, I had to go to the vitamin shop to pick up my client's protein powder. So I did, she doesn't like cinnamon, so I just got her the chocolate crunch, chocolate cookie blast flavor, which is very good for my overnight oats. But I had told y'all the cinnamon toast crunch one that I had got last time had a hole in it. So I finally got my hands on it today, which I'm super excited about because I had grabbed these cinnamon cookies. Hold on, my boyfriend's at the door. Anyways, but then look at these cute little mandarins. They're just the cutest things ever with the little leaf on it, everything. But that's besides the point. Anyways, so this is what I was talking about. Milk bar crunchies and they're in the flavor cinnamon toast cookies. So I was like, maybe I can grab two cookies and crumble it on top for my overnight oats. So I'm gonna make my overnight oats for tomorrow tonight. And I'm gonna share with you guys tomorrow how it tastes. So six cookies is six grams of fat, 21 grams of carb, one gram of protein. So I'm gonna just do two. Um, I can't do the math on top of my head right now, but the macros are good. So I'm excited for that breakfast tomorrow. I like the new flavors that I'm inventing with my protein powders. And if I don't use those on top of my cinnamon toast crunch overnight oats, I use the graham cracker graham crunch by the Cascadian farm. It's like cereal. I grab like probably like a good handful and crunch it on top. Cause I like to have some type of texture in my food. And then for my foods, I like to have sauces. So I found these two sauces and the calories are low. So this one is called red sofrito sauce. So it's kind of like a Spanish type sauce. It says here, class, a classic Spanish sauce combined with combined with tomatoes, peppers, herbs, spices, whatever. So this is gonna be good, but one serving is 45 calories versus this one is the salsa verde sauce, which I'm excited about. It's only five calories. So don't be surprised if y'all see me putting these sauces on top of my foods because it's what's gonna make me get through this stuff. But that is everything that I got for myself. The food we had got is called Fresh One Kitchen. It's over in Sandy Springs. Let me show you real quick. And I had got the spicy chicken bowl. I guess I could stay right here. Turn on my kitchen light. Yeah, so I had got the spicy chicken bowl. It has um, chicken, I have a little bit of chipotle ranch, broccoli, carrots, corn, green beans mushrooms, sweet potato noodles, and chicken. And this is what it looks like. Get into it. Let me let me lower the exposure so y'all can really see it. Let me let me flip it for y'all. That's what it looks like. Real good like. And I'm super excited. Ooh, I'm super excited to dig in. Speaking of super excited, so I seen a post on Instagram from Gymshark. They're talking about they're gonna have a lift to Miami. And I asked my boyfriend, he wanted to go. He was like, no, that's more like a you and Tasha thing. Cause I was trying to figure out who to go with. Cause I was unsure if Tasha would really go for real. But I text Tasha, she said she's down. So guess who's going to the Gymshark lift Miami? me and Tasha and I'm so excited because I'm gonna be able to meet other like 
fitness influencers, which I feel like it'll be a good experience, a great way for me to interact and engage and stuff like that. So it's going to be really, really fun. We're going to stay at my mom's house. Speaking of mom, I have to call my mom and tell her. So that's that. But we'll get into more details later on. Whew. I'm starving. It's nine o'clock, which is perfect. So today I had like overnight oats, I had chicken and rice, and then I had one rice cake, and then now this. This is going to be my last meal of the day. I'll probably have me a protein shake like in two hours and call it a night, but I'm not sure. I'll probably just call it a day after this, but I'm so, so, so starving. Chicken tastes good. Mm-hmm. It's a spicy chicken bowl. Mm -hmm. I want the sweet potato noodles. That's what I really want. I wonder if that's what that one is. It is. Mmm. It's really, really good. And then this is the drink from Whole Foods. Look, look at the bubbles, look at the bubbles. This is probably the best sparkling water. Ooh, hold on my nose. It tastes like a fresh strawberry, literally. Do it. Taste it, taste it. <laughs> How is not healthy? Boy, get out. Get out. It does not taste like straight soda. Zero fat, zero carbs, zero protein. And it don't got no sugar. What is he talking about? I don't want your damn yogurt. I can't have that. <laughs> Remember how I told y'all that me and Tasha were going to the Gymshark Lift Miami thing? So I'm on their website because I think it makes sense to get something from their new little drops or whatever so when i go there i could fit in you know what i'm saying what i was looking at let me bring you in closer this is what i was looking at the adapt fleck and that top now y'all know i'm a part of the big biddies community so i asked my boyfriend if it would look good on me he said yeah so we're gonna trust his answer we're gonna go with that and then i have the adapt fleck leggings in the royal blue color that everybody was going crazy <laughs> over and y'all know i love blue blue looks so good on me but i wanted to try a different color but i do love the adapt fleck line from them and then i just wanted to get something like really really simple because it's two days so I just wanted to get like two outfits. But I've been wanting like a white sports bra for a minute now. Why isn't their like website working? Like I'm clicking on the stuff and it's not working. I need to turn that down. Yes, I'm recording. I'm talking to them. We're on. We're on. You talk to yourself all the time, so I don't know you're recording. We're on YouTube, FaceTime, and don't be telling my business like that. Are you crazy? Anyways, it's this white one. This is the one I want. I want this one and I'm gonna get a size medium because I just want something very, very simple. I like these shorts too. I only have one pair, but I like these, the everyday seamless shorts. I love these shorts. I have the black ones, but I want navy blue. 
So I'm gonna wear, one day I'm gonna wear white and navy blue, and then the next day I'm gonna wear the Adept Fleck. That's what I wanted to get. I wanted to get something else. Like, this kind of looks like the Legacy shorts that I have. I think it is, but it's just Libby's brand or Libby's collection. But I really didn't want anything from this collection. I don't feel like it's fitting for my body type and I like to get stuff that would make my body look good and fit to my body good. All right, y'all, we here at the gym. When I tell you I'm not in the mood to work out, I'm not in the mood to work out, but it's gonna be mic'd up so y'all gonna be with me and y'all gonna be experiencing everything that I'm feeling and everything that I'm going through through my workout. Oh, hey, you're Hi. good. Okay. You're good. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to Chief Chief today. I'm gonna turn your watch on so if you don't, you're gonna work out for pet squat, narrow stance with my heels touching first turn, toes pointed out. Oof. slippery from outside let me see okay I think I'll be fine with no shoes Whew. second set Um, for eight, see how that feels. Ooh. 
because I don't really know all the machines like that here to know what's my starting weight. Okay. Let me see, let's see. to 170 and then shoot for 8 so like 8 is our minimum and we shoot for that and then we're going for our heaviest one
15 into her. Oh, shit. Yeah, I had a great workout surprisingly even though I was complaining majority of the workout because like I said I dread working legs so now I'm just sitting in the sauna and relaxing and the only reason why I'm just sitting in here is because I don't know if I'm going to get my toes in like I'm contemplating because I really want to go home and just meal prep and then lay it down for the rest of the, the day but it's like these these dogs look crazy. Like they just like <laughs> like they barking at you and stuff. And I I don't need them barking at nobody. Like I'm trying to keep them quiet. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. But I'm just tired, hungry, ready to lay it down. But this workout I burnt like seven hundred something calories. Oh, did y'all see Tasha brought me my cookie? Even though she gave two of my cookies away to somebody. But I'm going to be getting my other two cookies tomorrow. Which I'm super excited for. I got to text her um, about the macros. Because once I leave out of here. Out of the sauna. I'm having one of those. When I look like this. That means I'm hungry. So I'm going on Tasha's Instagram. So that way I can. So that way I can know the macros for the rest of the day for my meals. So it's 255 calories, 18 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat. About that. This is what the cookie looks like in its packaging. Oh, I'm so, so hungry. I like starving hungry. So let's get a little break apart action. That's the inside of the cookie. This is good. It's just like gooey sweet but not too overpowering sweet this is everything this is too good mm. i don't know about y'all but i'm glad i got a friend that know how to bake and that work out so she can make stuff like this if y'all stay in atlanta y'all better go tap in with macro munchies that's all I'm gonna say. This is good, especially like right after a workout. Post workout games. In a cookie. Now I ain't going to get my toes done, y'all. I'm going home. I'm going home. What's up, y'all? Your girl's in a good mood compared to yesterday. Right? Right. So this morning I got up. I went to go do my cardio because I had some cardio to catch up on because I skipped cardio one day that's 30 minutes and then yesterday after my work i was already tired i was ready to go home i only did 15 minutes so i had to do the extra 15 minutes today so i had to do a total of 45 minutes of cardio today and it wasn't that bad it went by so fast because i was responding to like comments on instagram youtube i was editing i uploaded on youtube i uploaded on instagram like 
I got a lot done. Only thing is it's 3.40 and I only ate one time today. I barely been drinking my water, so I gotta catch up on that. But I have something exciting that I really wanna show you guys. <laughs> So, last week, Women's Best had DM'd me on Instagram. They was like, oh, we we looked at your page. We want to send you a PR package. And I'm like, me? Little old Kayla? Like, when I first moved to Atlanta and I started taking fitness seriously, which was like about four years ago, Women's Best was the first gift I received from my boyfriend. Like, he seen me getting into this fitness stuff. He was like, I'm going to buy her some clothes from Women's Best. So when it came to athletic wear, Women's Best was the first athletic wear brand that I wore. And I reached out to them a couple times before. Obviously, I didn't have, like, the following and stuff like that. But it didn't hurt to reach out. And they they denied me and stuff like that which is normal you know they want to see what you can bring to the table yada 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 but it's just so crazy how because i told myself two years ago that i'm done reaching out to brands it's no problem with reaching out to brands but i myself am done reaching out to brands because me i know personally what i can bring to the table the type of content that i post speaks for itself like i don't have to explain myself if you want to work with me you can work with me if you don't you don't like i might tag you and stuff like that but i'm not going to blow you up like that's how it is it's going to be like a little slight little sneakishly under the dough type thing and that's it but i'm not going to reach out to no brand like hey my name is such and such and blah, 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 blah. been there done that I'm done okay so I was just a little bit shocked and surprised when I seen that little notification in my DMs on Instagram so we're gonna do a little try on haul they sent me like two outfits they're getting to it so obviously I already know what it looks like because they sent me like the email of like when the package was getting delivered and stuff. So I believe this is their new line. They have the Define Seamless and I have the Define Seamless Cycling Shorts in the color black and the Define Seamless Halter Neck Bra. And then I have the Evolution Seamless Low Back Bra in the color olive, which I love because you know my favorite color is green and I barely have green clothing. Obviously you see the green right here, but that's cool. So these are the Evolution Seamless Leggings. So they sent me some shorts and they sent me some leggings. Now, y'all know I'm really a shorts girl for real, but I think I'm tapping into my leggings era. I think I stated that in like, a couple vlogs ago so i'm excited i got a pair of leggings too but let's get into this try on haul to see what it <laughs> what it looks like this is definitely it one thing i will always give women's best credit for is the how their shorts or their leggings like just snatch you up instantly like get into it and then the bra y'all Y'all know I'm a big, big bitty girl, okay? These is heavy up here. This is their halter top. I got it in the size medium, and it fits so good, and it's so comfortable. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has, like, the little adjustable straps for, like, to get that tightness. And these, you can remove them. So back day is about to go crazy. So this is their Define Seamless, the cycling shorts. Now these shorts are a little bit too long for me. You know, I like the short shorts, the shorter the shorts, the better. But if you're a girly that doesn't like your legs out too much, or like you want to avoid like your shorts riding up, these are definitely it. They feel like so soft and comfortable. Seamless is definitely Seamless is definitely the word for them. And I just love how it makes me feel so snatched and comfortable. Like it has that good tummy control, if that's what you're into also. 
and I just absolutely love this bra because it's hard for a girl like me with a heavy chest to find a good bra like this like us girls want to be cute too so I'm gonna remove these straps and show you guys what it looks like without the straps look at that back day is about to go crazy y'all like I I love it I love this collection I love oh just popped at me but I love this collection I love how it feels I love the way I look like it just looks it just looks good somebody take this damn camera away from me didn't I tell y'all the leggings were going to eat look at the leggings they look so good look at the bra like I said size medium for reference I'm a 34 double D but wait for it. look at the back on both look at the back of the leggings look at that it makes me look like I got a wagon back there then look at the back look look at the back and y'all get into it these come off yeah I know I love a good halter top action I love to have my back out so you know what I'm gonna do on some days I'm gonna take off the adjustable straps and I'm gonna tie a little a little bow and we're gonna have our back out but I love this and I told you like it just makes you feel so secure like it just hugs your body right everything I got was in a size medium what the green eats the set eats everything like I just love the details like get into the details get into it yes so this is the evolution let me just make sure because I don't want to say it wrong yeah so this is the evolution seamless and y'all this this is it I can't wait to take pictures in these. I can't wait to work out in these, like to see and feel it in motion. But I already can tell, like I love it. This is gonna be perfect for leg days and that black set, upper body days, cause that back is gonna be out. But for lower body days, this looks good. Like you can still see the quads through the leggings, the body, the back, everything. Like, I mean, they really could go for either day, but. For me, it just seems like I be wanting to switch it up. My like leg days, I want leggings, and then upper body days, I want shorts. I don't know. That's just how it is. But yeah, so shout out to Woman's Best for sending me this little gift. I gotta make sure I respond to the DM and text them back. Let them know how it is. Okay. I'm so excited. Be on the lookout for some pictures because I'm definitely gonna take some pictures in these sets. Cause they look so good on me. Um, if I had a code, I would provide y'all with a code, but unfortunately I don't. Maybe one day, send out y'all prayers for me, please. And thank you. But yes, like this is everything. All right, y'all. We about to we about to endure in a task that I've been prolonging to do because I have two and not one. We're going to bathe these doodles. You ready to take a bath? Cause you're a dirty butt. Bentley, you ready to take a bath? Bentley does not like taking baths. Ready to take a bath? Bentley doesn't like taking baths, but Coda, he's cool with it. But yeah, it's, it, it's a lot. So the other day, the other day when I was like, oh, my camera was dead. I wanted to bring out with me. Da, 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 da. Oh, the day I had did the Whole Foods little finds or whatever. We also had went to the pet store. So we had got them like this pet armor type shampoo. And this one smells so good. It's the Hawaiian ginger scent. So I know they're going to smell super duper good. We had got them these um this grooming glove because sometimes like I, I be wanting to like massage them take care of them like you know give them a little bit of tlc because they're my babies and 
we're gonna use this so I can scrub and rub them and then I had told y'all in the last vlog like how when I took them to the dog park they had got like little fleas or whatever I don't like that on my children so I bought them like a little flea repellent so when we do go outside it can prevent from them getting any of those bugs because I don't like bugs and I definitely don't want bugs on my kids okay so we had got them that and that should be good for them to keep them clean and protect them from them little germies because I hate those things so let's let's give them a bath Koda come on inside inside Koda come on Koda Come in with mommy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, mommy. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know how to do it. Come on. Come on. Mommy, help you. Come on. Come. Come. <laughs> Come on, you little big butt. Bentley, let's go. Come on. Inside, bear. No, we're going to take a bath. It's bath time. Y'all, I usually do not have this much of a hard time to get them in the bath. I don't know what it is. They're, they're showing out for y'all. Bentley looking. Bentley, you don't want to take a bath? <laughs> you mad? It makes no sense. I gotta pick you up and you're two years old. Oh, my lord. You are heavy. Coda's here for moral support. Right, Coco? You're such a good brother. Boop, cutest thing. Now let's give him a bath. And they be doing all that, all that acting. Look, 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 just about to cut up. You want to treat, treat? Everybody sit. Oh, yeah, sit for that. Y'all listen real quick for that. Here. Y'all listen real quick. Y'all listen real quick. These the, these the treats I've been giving them is the beef sausage slices with rice. I found it at Publix, it was on sale. So I got it for them, they like it, so if they like it, I love it. Whew, but I am done. I'm tired, took me about an hour and a half to bathe both of them. Just cutting up. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog because I'm about to shut it down. About to shut it down, your girl is tired. I'm ready to lay down, I'm ready to shower myself. Okay. Oof, but they, they get on my nerves, child. But as always, make sure you guys comment, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And until next time, peace.